So for today's Thriller Thursday, we're talking about a woman who leaves her horrible life into a new life and ends up even in more hot water than in her previous life. So intrigued, stick around. Well, hey friends, Roger here, and welcome to my channel, Roger's Reads. So for today's Thriller Thursday, we're talking about a book entitled The Last Flight by Julie Clark. So this book really surprised me and in the best possible way. In addition to being a compelling uh, domestic suspense story, it turned out to be a super gripping, heart in your throat, race against the clock thriller that hooked me right from the start, leading me to devour it in only two cities. So the story follows Claire Cook, who, after months of meticulous planning, is plotting an escape from her physically and emotionally abusive husband, Rory Cook, who is part of a powerful and ruthless family, the Cook Dynasty, and who is also ready to announce his bid for the Senate. So Claire, her plan is to disappear and create a new identity for herself and a new life. She knows that if she makes one mistake with her plans, one false step, one bad decision, one neglected detail, it's all going to unravel. So needless to say, she's been carefully planning this for a long time. So let's just say that maybe everything didn't quite go as planned. So Claire finds herself in a state of last minute desperation and completely out of options. But she then has a chance encounter with a woman named Eva who is also on the run from someone or something. So the two women make a last minute decision to switch plane tickets with Claire taking Eva's flight to Oakland and Eva taking Claire's flight to Puerto Rico. So when Claire lands in California, however, she learns that Eva's flight, the one that she was supposed to be on, crashed, leaving no survivors. Now, everybody believes that Claire is dead and she's free to step into her new life, assuming Eva's identity. But of course, the question is, what was Eva running from? Well, we learned that soon enough, and let's just say it's not pretty. And it doesn't take long for Eva's dark past to smash head on into Claire's new life. So, you know, this was such a fascinating character study, and I really enjoyed getting to know these two strong yet broken women and their motivations. So the story is told in alternating perspectives from Claire's viewpoint before and after the crash slash her escape, and then from Eva's perspective through the days and weeks leading up to the crash. So we get to know slowly, or learn slowly, what Eva was running from. And I found that both of their stories were just absolutely breathtaking and riveting, as both characters suffer deep, emotional scars and we see just how dire each of their situations were which led them to make their decision to disappear. So I thought that the transition between the past and present were flawless and that the author did a really good job, phenomenal job actually, of blending in the multiple timelines. Now this sucker punch of a book was most certainly an experience as we, the reader, get to witness firsthand how Clara and Eva, two women who couldn't be more different, each fight for survival. What also amazed me about the story was how fast paced it was. There was not one dull moment in the story, and it placed me firmly on the edge of my seat, rooting for both of the characters uh, as they both try to escape their tormentors, thus freeing themselves in the process to begin a new life with a new start. 
And as we all learned, making a clean break is no easy task. So the author here succeeded in creating suspenseful, tension-filled scenes that flood you with his character's depth and their flawed, beautiful hearts. So in this way, The Last Flight was not only thrilling and heart-pounding, but also deeply moving. Uh, a powerful, tightly plotted, character-driven story that really caused me to feel some strong empathy for these two extremely courageous women who find themselves in an impossible situation and decide to uh, hopefully set themselves free. So Clark, the author, explores many riveting themes in this story. There's ambition, failure, physical abuse, emotional abuse, privilege, uh, social inequity, uh, cover-ups, politics, shady politicians, escaping abuse, there's also uh, grief, uh, drug dealing, loneliness, self-reliance, and second chances. So a, a lot going on in this tightly plotted novel. So in some ways, The Last Flight is an honest and somewhat raw commentary on humanity. Uh, it certainly does not shy away from hard truths, and it kind of <laughs> ended up destroying me for a few days. But I found the writing to be sharp and edgy, the, the story raw and tragic, and the characters are relentless and determined. And the numerous ingenious plot twists can be turning the pages, resulting in a thoroughly addictive and hard-hitting story with a final twist that I found to be a real stutter. And there is an epilogue, which is a truly heartbreaking, which I did not see coming at all. <laughs> so yes, this was definitely a five-star read. And it was a lot of fun. I'm so glad I read this book. So did you like this video? If so, please click the like button below as that really helps my channel out. Also, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Wadger it out. Oh.